we are in post production. Our team behind Sonicscape came uh, on board in December, and we've been editing pretty much nonstop for two months. We're about a week away from having our first official rough cut, which we'll be de- delivering to uh, various national TV networks to try to get it out there quickly this spring. In a nutshell, how would you describe this documentary? This is the definitive look at how legalization came about and ultimately passed in Washington State, and it, it covers all sides of the issue. And many of the major players are, uh, you know, major characters in the film, and it basically is an interesting story about marijuana and politics. And who would ever have thought they would have met up at this early stage? I thought it was probably ten, twenty years out, but here we are. Just like Sonic Skate, I'm sure that as you guys put this thing together, you learned things that y- y- were unbelievable. You never saw coming. Give me a couple of those moments in in Evergreen. What 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 what, what were they? Yeah, I think that uh, I didn't know that much about the issue going in. In the last two months, I've learned a ton about it. And one of the most interesting things is there's a couple forms of legalization. You look at what Colorado did, and they passed a more liberal form of legalization. What we did here was a more conservative approach, had the DUID provision, had no home grow, and had a lot of restrictions. And so uh, what was interesting is both sides were for legalization. It's just that the no people weren't for this particular form of legalization. So it's hard. It's, it's, it's funny to see the hardcore marijuana reformers rallying against the legalization bill here in Washington. Very interesting stuff. Neil, same question. Yeah, and for me it was, uh, you know, we took a couple trips to eastern Washington in making this film, and one of them was on this Rick Steves barnstorming tour, and you just had people that you would not have expected to come out of the woodwork, you know, championing this marijuana cause, buying t-shirts, you know, 75-year-old grandmother could barely walk, and she came out and bought a t-shirt, and, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure she voted for the law, so... Things like that just always surprise me who was coming out in favor. What about the concerns of, of those who say, you know what, I don't really think this should have been legalized and because I'm afraid of this Pandora's box theory that, you know, once we go here, what's next? Do you address that? Yeah, and that that's the huge interesting thing as well. I mean, the film ends pretty open-endedly like, you know, we did this, the state did this, uh, you know, what comes next? And, there's you know, it's a huge experiment, huge social experiment. But I think... People who are in that camp where this is a Pandora's box, I mean, the Pandora's box that we've already sealed of all these people in jail that Jason's talking about, I mean, we've, we've got to come up with an alternative to that. And I mean, you know, it's great to have Washington and Colorado as incubators to test how this change will work, how things like driving under the influence will work. And, um, you know, that's how society changes. So I think people should tune in because it's a fascinating story, but also, you know, they could have their mind open to, uh, you know, maybe it is better to, to tax and regulate this. Niels Cowan and Jason Reed, my guests. The movie is Evergreen, The Road to Legalization in Washington. It's going to be released soon. Now, uh, you guys are doing some fundraising, and you can actually see the trailer online, right? Yeah, yeah. If you go to evergreendocumentary.com or follow us on Twitter at Evergreen Doc, uh, you can uh, see our new trailer that we just cut last week. 